Hey everyone, Brad here with Atlas Target Works. Uh, right now I'm getting ready for next month's NRL 22 match. Um, I've got my own personal range and a lot of times I'll try to set up the stages, the monthly stages out of my place. Um, it typically works really well to have stuff kind of ready the day of uh, for the match. So getting all this stuff beforehand allows me a chance to practice. You know, some months I set it up and, and don't even get to shoot it. Some months I don't even set it up at all. Actually, that's the way it's been going a lot lately. It's been a busy summer, but uh, kind of getting back in the thing, the swing of things. It's, we're getting into fall here and things are slowing down for me personally. So I've got a little bit more time, so I'm getting ready and just wanted to share my process, um, our process, Jake and I's with uh, you guys. You may have something better. You may have a better process. Maybe this will spark a little discussion and give me some ideas, but this has really worked well for us and it makes setting up the day of the match really easy. You know, I've seen some posts talking about the struggle of getting, you know, help with everything like that. And this would definitely help a lot of you, I think, in uh, getting prepared beforehand, doing some things behind the scenes, um, as well as just making it easier the day of, so that way you can go out and set up. Uh, we set up the morning of the match and tear down immediately after. So there's no multi-day things having to deal with, you know, keeping the range to ourselves or worrying about that type of stuff. So it works really well. Now, you may be wondering why I'm at my computer. Well, that's where all this starts. Obviously, first thing is to print off the course of fire for the month. That's handy to have no matter what you're doing. Uh, for me, I'm gonna try to practice this a little bit on my personal range this month. Um, just really nice to have. Uh, obviously, otherwise you gotta look it up on your phone or deal with that, so print off that. And then what I do is I label each stage uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I see five primary colors, uh, five stages, works really well. Um, it's easy to get paint for those, so I've got all those colors of paint uh, so I can color code my targets. And then secondly, I go to Excel and I've got a little spreadsheet, just a very simple spreadsheet that I uh, create each month. Enhance. 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 Just print the damn thing! For uh, helping lay things out on the range. So I've got a little code and I'll put up a screenshot of this on the video so you can follow along. But. Um, as you can see, I've got the stages one through five, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then I have the ranges listed out. So the, the column on the left side, the far left column is the ranges that are used for this month's match. And then I've got it listed. So on the top left there, you can see one inch single hook, or yeah, one inch single hook and at 42 yards and a three inch single hook at 93 yards. So I know the, sh the size of the target and the stand it's using. So I just go through and just quickly do that for all of them so that way I don't have to be flipping through pages, doing all that. Plus, as you'll see in a little bit, when I go down range with all the targets, I can just set stuff up as I go along. I don't have to go stage one, go down the range and, and set the two targets up and then go stage two and then backtrack and do a bunch of back and forth because all that takes time. So this little cheat sheet really helps that move along smoothly. Um, and then underneath there, I just list out all the uh, barricades that I need. So. Uh, that's just for me to get them on the trailer all at once instead of having to flip through the uh, monthly course of fire. It just allows me to be able to quickly do that. I can I take my four-wheeler out with my trailer and I can throw them all on there and take them to the firing line. So this is just a reference sheet. This is solely used for setting up, but it really does help. The little bit of time it takes me to type this out saves a bunch of time having to go back and forth up and uh, just kind of make things slower when you're out there on the range. So. I've got this cheat sheet printed out. I got the course of fire. I'm going to head out eventually. I don't know if it'll be right now. It's getting kind of late in the evening. Just wanted to get this wrapped up, but I'm going to be headed out to my target barn and I will uh, show you uh, in the next segment how I get the targets ready for the month. So see you out there. All right, now that I've got my print out here, I've got all my targets that we just kind of as we left them after the last match. So I'm going to pull these out compare them against the list that I've got here and just set them into separate stages, into the five stages for this month's match. New swallow nest. Ended up getting, maybe made a nest over top of my targets and pooped all over all of them. Yep, and I knew I'd forget something. I forgot my, uh, forgot my tape measure. All right, got my tape measure now, so 
Stage one, I need a one inch on a single hook and a three inch on a single hook. So I'm just gonna look for the targets that are similar. So it appears that we didn't use the one inch last month. So I'll just go in my miscellaneous targets. Okay, so I need a one inch on a single hook and a three inch on a single hook. And here we've got a three inch. So I got my one inch and a three inch on single hooks. All right, so I had to, uh, I had to modify one of the stands. So I got a one inch on a single hook and a three inch on a single hook. So I'm just gonna set those out in rows. So this is stage one. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing through four, two through five. All right, so I've got these all laid out. Um, each, uh, each stage, one through five here, all the targets for this month. And now I've got my red, orange, yellow, green, and blue paint. And I'm just gonna paint each stage its color. There we go, so everything's color coded. So now not only can it help me keep the targets separated when they all get loaded up and unloaded, you don't have to keep things uh, individual. Uh, you don't have to measure them again when you get out to the range. You can just transport them right, right like this. If you were getting ready for a match, you were gonna shoot it tomorrow, you wanted to have everything ready today before, you could do exactly this, set them all up, and then use your cheat sheet once you get out to the range to set the uh, targets up at the appropriate distances. I'm going to set them up on my range, which I don't have the same width that some ranges have, so my targets are closer together. So the color also helps me differentiate them when I'm practicing. I can look down and go, okay, I gotta shoot the red targets for stage one or the yellow target for stage three. Really helps simplify that. So I'm gonna load these up on my trailer on my ATV and go set them up on the range. All right, so I'm here at my firing line. It's a little breezy out here today. Uh, I got all the targets on the trailer and then down range. Um, probably won't be able to see it on this camera, but I have got my yardages marked off uh, from 25 yards out to 100. I got them staked off every five yards. So if I've got a guess on yardage, it's only a pace or two. So I don't bother ranging when I set up my targets. I know where my, my firing line is and, and all the yardages. At this point, if you were gonna set them up on your own range or for a match, you would just wanna have some sort of target on each bay that you could, or each firing line that you could range back to and set up the appropriate distances for your target. So I'm just gonna go down. Uh, this is where this, uh, um, this cheat sheet's really gonna shine. I can just go down range once and set up all my targets at one time instead of flipping through pages and trying to keep track of where everything's at. And, you know what stage has what targets at what range so i've got it all on one sheet so as i can go down as i go down i can see the first one's at 42 yards on stage one so i'll just go down there and start setting up targets
There we go. Got all the targets set up in one trip downrange. Now I'm just going to go back and get the uh, barricades for the firing line. All right, now I've got all my uh, barricades out here. All I got to do is put them on the appropriate stages and it's all set up. Stage one gets the rooftop. All right, there you have it. Got everything all set up, ready to uh, go get my gear and actually start shooting. Um, I got the, all the barricades set up, everything's ready to go, so I can hopefully get some practice in and do a little bit better this month. And uh, if not, worst case scenario, it, it's got everything prepped for the, for the match that day, so when Jake comes over to get the targets, we can just load everything all up. It's already here all together. You know everything's ready to rock and we can just take it to the range the targets will be a bit shot up but you know that's all right you'll still see what color they were painted so everything's color coded we'll take them out the day of the range <laughs> we'll take them out the day of the match sort everything into their own color piles paint them all white so that way they're all uniform and ready to go for the day and then we'll take them down range uh, so yeah that's all there is to it I hope it was a little bit helpful uh, to you if you're looking at setting up uh, your own NRL 22 matches, uh, just doing it for fun, practicing at home, uh, anything along those lines. Uh, if you got any good ideas you want to share, feel free to post them below in the comments of the video or wherever you find this at. And uh, Now admittedly one thing my setup procedure relies on is the use of my leg add-ons for my stake bases. Um, there is no standard for those stake bases. so. I cannot guarantee that my leg add-ons will work with your stake bases. They're made to work with mine. Uh, seeing as they're all different, there's really no way you can come up with one standard. Uh, but they, I cannot stress enough how nice they are to have. Now, now I understand that it's an added expense, but I tell you what, they're, they're, they're not part of the target. They don't get hit. There's nothing to wear out on them. They, were, they will literally last forever. and they make setup so much easier when you can just have, you know, instead of laying all your targets down on the back of the pickup where they can rattle and jostle and get knocked off, end up getting knocked loose. Um, when you're setting them up, you know, you get, you, they have to lay down all the time. Having them on something that can hold the stand vertical, hold the target vertically, and be easily portable without staking to the ground is huge. Uh, as you saw in the trailer, it was easy to set them all in there. It's the same way in the back of the pickup. We throw them all in the back of the pickup, haul them to the range, all the targets are still on the hooks. Everything's all ready to rock when we get there. Plus it gives you a little bit of added height when if the range has got a little bit taller grass or up here in the northern states and South Dakota, we, uh, when the ground freezes, we shoot these matches all, all year long. You know, it's January, February, March, those cold, nasty months we're still shooting and there's just no way to get a stake base in the ground. So it's really nice. You can set it up on top. Heck, even if you got snow drifts, you can set the targets up on top of that. So. They really are nice for a number of a number of reasons, and I definitely think they're worth the investment. Now, obviously, my opinion is biased, but as you can see from the reviews online, and I've talked to quite a few people at matches I've shot at, and other uh, match directors in the state, and they are they are just a heaven sent, uh, considering how much nicer they are than having to stake each base in individually. So you can check those out at atlastargetworks.com.